Hi there. Today we're at the Lincoln Park Salvation Army. Um, we are in the downriver region of Metro Detroit. If you don't know what that means, then look it up, Google it. Uh, <laughs> it basically just means south of the city. That's all it means. It's not a big mystery or anything like that, but we're at the Salvation Army and we're gonna see what we can find today. All right, here we are in the vase or vase aisle, depending on your preference. That is a $4.99 piece of glass that's not very good. It's like quality of it, you can tell, is just not up to par. You can see over the uneven bottom there. That is probably a made in China knockoff, not worth $4.99. Nice little IKEA piece there that I'm going to put back on the shelf. Uh, not a lot going on in that aisle. This was just some sort of, I thought maybe it was glass for a second, but it turned out to be some sort of electric thing with a switch. Cute little ginger jar with no lid, unfortunately. You really don't see a lot of them with lids. This um, I'd actually spotted on a prior trip. Some nice vintage malt glass taper candle holder. And as you can see, it's of the religious persuasion. I just thought it was an interesting piece. And luckily it was half off that day. Half off blue, $2.49 for that, for that guy. This is a nice little Lions photo holder for Christmas time. My husband loves the Detroit Lions for some reason, even though they keep disappointing him. But anything I buy, Lions go straight to the hubs. Yes, I just called him Hubs. He's never going to forgive me for that. That's a Jim Short Owl for Christmas. Not in good shape. You could probably get 20 bucks for that, but yeah. Put him back on the shelf, taking the lion's Christmas tree, because it's cute. There's teeny tiny little lions on the ornaments. Why not, right? So that was not uh, the best day at the Lincoln Park Salvation Army that I've ever had. Um, I found two items, one little... Detroit Lions photo holder and that's really cool milk glass uh, taper candle holder. So I spent $4.75 and um, I'm just going to head on over to the Southgate uh, Salvation Army and see what I can find there. Hopefully I'll have better luck. Boy oh boy did I ever have good luck. I found this gorgeous blue wine decanter with gold detailing when I walked in stopper is intact you don't sometimes you really if you see a bottle like that you don't have a stopper so these uh, stickers here on the six matching glasses say made in Romania and it was interesting because the Romania was spelled R-O-U it's Romania with a U and I looked that up that indicates that this set was made pre-1975 that caught my eye but there was no marking on it if it didn't have a maker's mark. If it doesn't have a maker's mark, I usually don't purchase it just because I'm not that well versed in China serving ware porcelain pieces. Maybe one day I will be. This is a Studio Nova pink sherbet, as you can see, set, massive set, salt and pepper shakers, cream and sugar, gravy boat, all of it, but it was just too overwhelming for me. Too much to pack too much to list and because the comps weren't that great I decided to pass on it but it even has that butter dish so it just wasn't that interesting to me this on the other hand was very interesting um, I honestly thought when I first laid eyes on this that this was a reproduction like a vintage reproduction piece gorgeous shape uh, you can see some chips at the bottom there but that is literally it like the color the paint um, is all intact glaze is intact there is a little chick that is the handle, is that what I'm trying to say? Um, all of it was in such good shape that I decided to take that home with me. So our total spend there at the Southgate Salvation Army was a whopping $23.30. I am so excited about that wine decanter and those matching glasses. And I love that teapot, that cute little teapot. Um, it looks vintage. It's in excellent condition. No, no chips or scratches or cracks of any kind that I could tell. 
and at five dollars you can go wrong with that so i'm not sure exactly what i'll price that at but it was a good good stop today all right thanks guys we'll see you next time